Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Happy Sunday. God bless you. I want to show you something from God's word. I want to show you a message God placed in my heart last night. This message has been in my heart so and last night it was it has been in my heart for a while now and it, it, it came so strong last night. I want to show you the making of a minister. The making of a minister. God's word says in Colossians chapter 4, verse 17. Paul said unto the Archippus, they say unto Archippus, take heed of the ministry that you have received of the Lord, that you may fulfill it. Take heed of the ministry that you have received of the Lord, that you may fulfill it. The making of a minister. In uh, Acts chapter 6, verse 4, Scripture says, we will give ourselves to the ministry of the word and to prayer. In 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 5, it says, in your affliction, do the work of an evangelist, making full proof of the ministry. In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 27, it says, presenting that you may present unto God a glorious ministry without spot, without wrinkle. A glorious ministry without spot, without wrinkle. In uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 18, it says, God reconciled us to himself through Jesus, whereby he gave us the ministry of reconciliation. In 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13, say, as they began to minister, in Acts chapter 13, verse 2, it says, separate me, Paul and Barnabas, for the work of the ministry that I have called them to do. I want to show you the making of a minister. What does it take for you to be a minister? What are the things you need to do? Paul is a good example here. The book of Colossians. If you, you have to start from Colossians chapter 4, if you start from verse 12, there is a message that Paul also, a message that Epaphras also sent to the church there. He said, Epaphras, a one of you, saluted you all. He said, it's always praying, laboring, fervently, that you stand fervent according to the will of God. So one thing, number one, the making, if you must be a good minister of God, is prayer. You need to make prayer your lifestyle. We are living in a day where we have so many jokers on the altar. Men, men are no longer interested in prayer. Men want to see power, they want to see explosion, they want to make impact without any force of prayer. But let me tell you, there is no force as strong as the force of prayer. And in fact, there is nothing that generates power, that generates the anointing of God, than the force of prayer. So what was the ministry of Epaphras? His ministry was a ministry of prayer. Ministry of prayer. The other day in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, uh, Apostle Paul said, He said, I thank God I speak in tongues more than they are. You are not I by the grace of God. The force of prayer. In, uh, in uh, James chapter 5, verse 16 and 17. He said, in light, the prayer of the righteous are very much. He said, Elijah was a man of life, uh, passion. And he prayed earnestly that he should not rain. And there was no rain on the surface of the earth. For three years and six months, the only prayer could cause that to happen. Hallelujah. The second thing, the making of a minister. Colossians 4 verse 17. Take heed of the ministry that you have received. First thing is the consciousness that there is a ministry that you have received. There's a consciousness. You need to have that consciousness that there's a ministry that you have received from the Lord. Have it within you. Know that no matter what you are doing, no matter what field of life you are, there is a ministry that is hidden in you. And begin to develop it. Begin to build capacity. Begin to build self spiritual esteem towards that ministry. And the third thing that you the making of a minister, you need to you say take heed of the ministry you have received. The second thing, the third thing you need to take heed. Take heed. Know that every ministry that you have received of God, it entails you to do all for it to come to pass. It entails you all your life, all sacrifice, finances, sacrifices of time, everything for the ministry to be fulfilled. Take heed. Take heed. How many ministers today are really taking heed of their ministry? How many ministers are really serious about what God has called them to do? Nowadays you have so many ministers, if they are not interested in reading, they don't like reading, they don't like studying, yet they want to be ministers. You can't be a minister without reading. You can't be a minister and you make impact without studying. Hallelujah. And the feet, the, the fourth or the feet. They say, take it of the ministry that you may receive that you fulfill it. Know that you are supposed to fulfill it. 
there are principles for you to fulfill ministry there are principles that need to be put in place for you to fulfill the ministry that you have received one of the one of those principles is the, is according to law one of the laws is the law of mentorship the law of mentorship you need to be mentored any ministry any field of life you are you need to be mentored my viewers out there i want you to understand anything you are doing know that you have a ministry you are a minister and there is a ministry in you and for you to fulfill that ministry law number one the law of mentorship you need to have something covering your hair someone that directs you someone you look up to like a role that you learn ministry from you don't just jump and you begin to do listen whatever you are doing whatever you intend to do in life someone did it in the past there is someone somewhere that is already doing so learn from that person identify and learn the law of mentorship the second law is the law of dependence total dependence of god total dependence of god we have a lot of ministers today that they beg they solicit for her for aid from here and there but if you must be a, 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 a powerful minister you need to learn how to depend on god total dependence don't depend on anything don't depend on any man don't depend on anything for supply depend on god and god alone when you trust in god no doubt in, in Proverbs chapter 3 verse 4 and 5 say trust in the law with all your heart lean not on your own understanding acknowledge him in all your ways and he shall direct your path total dependence of god depend on god for all your supply and everything hallelujah god bless you i begin to pray for you whatever ministry that is in you whatever ministry that is in you the law will help you to discover that ministry the law will help you to fulfill the ministry in the name of jesus god will also give you grace to take heed grace to fulfill the laws of ministry in the mighty name of jesus god bless you happy sunday